Hi everybody, this is Bastian and today we're going to look at how we can use diagonal play in a game of chess. Um, there are three pieces that can move diagonally, the two bishops and the queen. I'm playing uh, 1750 opponents, I'm playing white. Game starts with c4, the English opening. Black plays f5, the Anglo-Dutch defense. So he's not challenging the pawn immediately, or taking control of the center. I play knight to c3, black plays knight to f6. I play e4, offering up uh, the pawn. Black recaptures. And now I play d3. And this is actually a named opening, which is called uh, the Klotchkov Gambit. And it's an excellent way to uh, demonstrate diagonal play, black takes the second pawn, and I recapture. And let's see what we get for sacrificing a pawn. I have two pieces developed. Black has one. Black has a weakness on f7. And I have three pieces on the diagonal uh, that are free to move. And they're on uh, adjacent diagonals, meaning they're um, right next to each other. And my goal, my strategy for this game is actually very simple. I want to take advantage of um, the free range of these pieces and move all three of them to f5, g5 and h5 where they can attack the enemy king, the queen and cut off the escape of the enemy king. So the basic idea is very simple. Game continues with d6, knight to f3, I'm continuing development first, e5, so black is taking control of the center, I castle, knight to c6, and now knight to d5. Now, there are two obstructions that prevent me from playing the queen to h5. That's my own knight. And the reason that um, the other reason is that the knight can recapture on h5. So I'll need to keep that in mind. So I play knight to d5. Black shouldn't recapture because if he recaptures, say knight takes knight, I can play pawn takes. And after, um, say, knight to b4, the knight becomes lost. After knight to e7, I can continue with knight to g5 and have ideas like queen to f3 with a mate or a, a check uh, on f7. Or I can grab the pawn on h7 with um, two attackers. So Recapturing is probably a poor choice for black, so he's still keeping the knight, covering the h5 square. Black plays bishop to e6 instead, adding a second attacker on uh, the knight. Now at this point, white shouldn't get greedy and take out the knight himself, because after knight takes knight, the pawn can recapture. We can see that the queen can move to h4, but the bishop can no longer move to g5, because the pawn is covering that square. Also, this bishop is covering um, f5, and this pawn is covering g6. So, that's not good enough. So, recapturing the knight is too early. I instead play queen to b3, um, attacking the weak b7 pawn and putting the queen on the diagonal, fortifying um, the position for uh, my knight. Black plays knight to a5, attacking the queen and defending the pawn. I play queen to a4, so all along I'm very careful 
to keep the queen on the diagonal because I want the queen to remaneuver to d1 and h5 later on in the game. So the queen is going to stay on the white squares. Now I'm attacking the knight, so knight goes to c6, knight goes to g5, so I'm opening up um, the diagonal for the queen, but I'm currently blocking the diagonal for the black bishop, my black bishop, black squared bishop. Bishop takes, I recapture, knight takes, there's no longer the support of the queen on b3. So I'm temporarily down a pawn, but I can recapture the pawn on h7. Now the knight on h7 is protected. Um, g5 has become available and the knight on h7 is protecting the square on g7. So black plays knight to b4, hoping to attack the bishop, but um, there's not much that black can do at this point. So, uh, there are no, no longer any good moves left. Bishop to g6 check. King retreats. Bishop to f5 check. And king goes back to e8. So the reason why is I get free development of my bishop to um, f5. Queen to d1. Black plays queen to h4, hoping to uh, protect against the check. But uh, now the second bishop comes in, bishop to g5. So the queen is uh, forced away. Queen goes to c4. And finally, I have succeeded in my strategy, queen to h5, check, with all three pieces on the uh, adjacent diagonals, attacking a king. That's completely in the open. Black is forced to block with the queen. So I play bishop to d7 check, forcing king recaptures, and I can take the queen. Of course, playing bishop to g6 will lead to the same result. So I grab the queen check. Now if king to c8, of course, uh, we get a mate soon enough. So that doesn't work. The king is driven um, into the open. First he blocks with knight to e7. I grab the bishop. Black, black recaptures the knight and I grab the knight with a check. Again, Fleeing to the back rank will lead to mate, so king c8, for instance, take, check, king to uh, d7, I grab both rooks and there's no hope left for black. So king to c6 is played instead, check, king to b5, rook takes c7, threatening check. Rook protects, queen takes pawn, rook to uh, c8, a4 check, king takes, rook to a4 check, king to b3, rook a3 check, king takes pawn, and finally queen takes uh, knight on b4 is a checkmate. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration that shows the power of uh, diagonals in chess. Thanks for watching and have a great evening.